Hey fellas, right here we got one of the coolest snakes that you're gonna find around East Texas. You don't see them very commonly unless you live around their range, but this is called a buttermilk racer. Let me see if I can get this fella up. They tend to be kind of high strung. They tend to be a little bit bitey. Woo, just like that. We'll see if we can get them. You can see also they have big, big eyes. So they're able to watch things very well. You can see, I mean, he's extremely alert. He's watching my right hand when it moves down, my left hand when it moves down. And you notice why they call them buttermilk racers. They just got this white pattern just kind of strewn all over them. So of course, he's gonna try and defend himself because right now he thinks I'm gonna try and eat him. So let's see if we can get him up. Oh, look at him watching my hand. <laughs> oh, now he's hissing too. And these guys are called racers because they are extremely fast. They can move at, at pretty high speeds whenever they're wanting to escape from predators. And you gotta love that blue coloring that they have. So, cool thing about them <laughs> is that they, um, they can be variable, highly variable in all their different colors. So, they can go from just like a straight blue ground color with just a few model white speckles, or you can go to this guy who's a high white and the high white to me is just extremely gorgeous. I mean, I think they're so daggum pretty whenever they are this high white like this. But they have a tend to have kind of like a pointed snout because they are primarily uh, rodent, mice, rat, and lizard eaters. They can just shoot after a lizard like green anoles or any of the skinks that live around these fields where they're found. And this is where I most commonly find them is these dense fields like this right on the edge of other habitats. So you can see we got this forest right here behind us. And this is extremely common for buttermilk racers to be found here. I also find a lot around the San Jacinto River. It's like they have a good population just kind of stored up right there. And you'll hear most commonly about these guys being seen running across um, golf courses. But like I said, extremely fast snakes. They're definitely known for their speed. And in my opinion, they're known for their color. Like it's, it's hard to find a racer that is as pretty as this guy. I mean, these fellows are just absolutely gorgeous snakes. And you see him right now, he's just checking me out, making sure that I'm not gonna hurt him as he sees I'm not a threat. And you can see this is also a decent size one. She's roughly around three feet, and that's what you'll find them most common as, is around three to five feet. But they do have some that get close to six feet. I personally have never found them this size. But this is just awesome to find a high white one. Absolutely gorgeous snake. The most commonly ones that I find are, like I said, the blue ground color with a little bit of white modeling. And I have found some almost completely, totally blue. So definitely a blessing. I have to praise God for the snake because man, is she gorgeous. And we're gonna let her go on a ray. Buttermilk Razor, guys, Colubra Constrictor Anthicus. People most commonly refer to this girl as Anthicus. So we'll see you later, Anthicus. Great seeing you. And uh, also thank you for not biting me. It's rare to come in contact with a Buttermilk Racer and not take a tag when you're picking them up. So we'll see where she's gonna go or if she's gonna go at all. Nope, she's just gonna chill. She says, I kind of like this fella. Nope, maybe not. Maybe you don't like me. <laughs>